Thank you so much for staying tuned. If you just joined us, this is TMI. It's all about the Oshu uh, gubernatorial election. The so Ademola Adelike of the PDP emerging winner. Yes, and people are like celebrating. Others are like wondering what went wrong. Two horse race. What about the Labour Party factor? What about other political parties? Because 50 political parties took part in that election across 30 local governments area and uh, we saw that two major political parties were there contending viciously but one came out tops and i have a legal partner that's with me in the studio i have a barrister Emmanuel obakbolo and of course barrister higiato gabriel they're sharing their thoughts and opinion on this particular discussion well performance of INEC, barrister higiato how would you rate INEC? in the just concluded or shown gubernatorial election? Well, I don't want to give INEC a full mark, mm -hmm. but I want to also commend them to a very large extent. For being a non biased empire, for not playing to the gala per se, and the zeal of the people to manifest for non diverting votes. Because over time, INEC have been known for inconsistency. Would you respect? And they be known for or conclusive, inconclusive, conclusive election. But in this case, it was different entirely. But if you look at the report of the election, I neck we are playing a game of not sided at all. They were playing the game of we are on our own. Mm -hmm. Whoever wins, let him win. But I think more courage should be given to the people. Because I neck would have probably say have an opportunity to have changed and tweet and tweet the result. But because the, the, the vote were very overwhelming, because there are votes that can be very overwhelming, you can't make it. And I thought that's what play at here. Yeah. But that doesn't mean I'm not giving kudos to anyone, but we shouldn't give them a full recommendation. Let's see subsequent election of what will happen. Maybe we'll be able to rate them on that uh, 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 page. Be that as it may, sir, the people we actually came out. The people we actually was established. I had neck aligned to be that way. Subsequent election, we were able to see if I make. Because over time, I make have never been impressive. I know it also depends on the kind of administrative uh, uh, curriculum they also have. Past chairman of I make, who have also displayed their incompetency. And uh, uh, the current I make chairman is trying to create a difference. But I think this is just one of the elections we can actually give in a pass mark, but not a total mark. We are going to see subsequent election if INEC can actually get the full mark of the people, if INEC can actually have the support of the people, that people will now say, yes, of course, INEC have actually done well. But just the way it is now, let us be observing them for now. But that does not mean that they also don't well at all. Over to you now, Barista Emmanuel Obakolo. He said, shouldn't give them 100% vote, at least you give them kudos, but not saying that they're like, you know, the Messiah, so to speak, in this election. I don't want to give them any praise, not even 1%. For real? Instead, I want to give the... For my, real? Yes, my praise, is to, my praise is to the magic of electronic transmission of results. That was what played out. And more so, you know that... Osu is an integral part of Nigeria. It's one of the states in Nigeria. So one out of 36 plus Abuja. So the general election will come, God keeping us, 2023. It is by that time we'll know whether or not we're going to give INEC any form of praise or any percentage of praise. Mm -hmm. But just now, I say kudos to the magic of electronic transmission of results. Mm -hmm. However, like my, my colleague said here, the people should be giving more kudos. And I want to urge, use this platform to urge, to appeal to all Nigerians who are up to the age of 18 and above to come out, go register. Register, not just register, registering for the papers of saying, oh, they may ask me to, I may need the PVC tomorrow, maybe to open back accounts or maybe to do one or two things. Register, keep it. It is your power. That is the only license we have because the politicians have hijacked everything. They've reduced us to nothing. They made us so redundant to the extent that now we are only crying. Crying is the order of the debate. 
uh, by the provision of section 14, subsection 2 of the extant constitution, sovereignty belongs to us. So, and that sovereignty is in the PVC. Mm -hmm. So we should come out just like the people of Osun State came out and they voted. And mind you, in any election where the people come out to vote, the rigging would be minimally reduced. So the people of Osun came out to reduce the purported rigging. And so it is not INEC. INEC did not make any gospel. The National Orientation Agency did not make any, uh, give the people any information. There was nothing. So we are just like that. Nigerians are just made to be, be on their own feet and to begin to swim against the tide. We have swam along against the tide. But just now, we want to swim in opposition to the tide. We want to see that we move, we move faster than the tide so that things in this country can change. So INEC, for me, no, I will not give them any praise. I give the magic of electronic transmission of results the praise. I give the people the praise. And I give the person of Senator Ademola Adeleke the praise. Hmm. Wow. You've heard both of them. They've spoken their mind about this particular election. Uh, uh, well, in course of discussion, you get to hear them say this is like a litmus test to what is going to happen come 2023 election. Finally, well, gentlemen, is it going to be a two-horse race in 2023 election as it was <laughs> in a two-banditorial election? Oh, you're still of the obedient spirit. <laughs> you got to, you go first. And of course, by Mr. Emmanuel, we complete this discussion. <laughs> Why did you pause? <laughs> you talked about it. <laughs> the 2018 general election is about to reform. Mm. The mm. devil the dead blue sea mm -hmm. and the revolutionary murder people. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to play. <laughs> That's what we're going to play. We are going to see a clear difference of an extent at which the people can go. Of an extent at which the people can go and exercise their will and give an impression of what they feel in their heart. That's what we're going to see by 2018. It's a revolutionary movement. So, as I said earlier, it's going to be a battle. Between the virtual eye movement, the devil, and the and deep blue sea. Well, you've heard a Higato. Barrister Mauna, he said it's going to be between three forces the devil, the deep blue sea, and the revolutionary minded people. What's your take? I align with him. Those who say that some persons will labor and labor to death we see that there is integrity <laughs> in labor. So the, 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 the election, the 2023 general election, will spring surprises. Will spring surprises. Yes. But you don't know where it's going to fall to. Definitely the spirit of uh, the obedience no, spirit. No, no, I wouldn't want to like campaign for anyone. I wouldn't want to campaign for anybody right now. When you heard them, according to it's going to be a three horse race this time, not a two horse race. The devil, the deep blue sea, and the revolutionary minded persons. Who is the devil? Who is the deep blue sea? What about the revolutionaries? Who are they? I don't know. Do you? Anyway, gentlemen, thank you so, so much for your wonderful analysis. Ikiti election has come and gone. Oshu election has come and gone. Other elections will eventually come up. But if you've not gotten your PVC, you have to go get your PVC. One of us here in the studio is saying have a wonderful Sunday ahead. Bye for now. <laughs>